This is Airspeeder, an Australian company that's trying to create a racing series for electric vertical takeoff and landing, or EVTOL, aircraft. It looks a little bit like pod racing from the Star Wars films, or anti-gravity racing games that I used to play when I was a kid. The idea is that EVTOLs made by Airspeeder's sister company, Alauda, will race around a track in the name of entertainment, innovation, and promotion of their aircraft. Kind of like Formula One for the sky. Now, while the idea of flying car racing may have been around for years, most of the companies I found were still in the initial design phase. But Airspeeder have an actual aircraft and pilots. So is flying car racing about to become a reality? Well, maybe one day. But right now, it's not quite there yet. So we're going to do this by looking at where the company is right now, where it wants to be, and then examine what it needs to do to get there. But let's start with where Airspeeder are headed. The company plans to create a new racing series, which they will charge teams to enter and then sell the broadcast rights to. Instead of investing in physical race courses, Airspeeder told me they plan on using augmented reality to project a circuit into the pilot's field of view and onto streamed footage. That means that races could be held pretty much anywhere the aircraft is certified. Airspeeder also told me that by creating an EVTOL race, they hope to develop new safety standards and infrastructure for EVTOL aircraft. And there's a precedence here. Motorsport has often been used by the automotive industry as a way to receive investment, try out new technologies, and sell vehicles. And yes, Alauda's aim is to sell their EVTOL aircraft to those wealthy enough to buy them. No release date yet, but the company told me that at launch, they'll be priced around the same as, quote, a high-end hypercar. So where are we right now? Well, after receiving funding in 2019, Airspeeder has hired former motorsport engineers, recruited some pilots from a range of sporting backgrounds, flown Alauda's aircraft, and even conducted its first race. Kinda. It was a really short one. A 945 feet drag race between two aircraft that Airspeeder told me was part of their testing. Still, this guy got champagne for winning. So if they've conducted a race and hired pilots, what do they need to do to close the gap between these two points? Well, let's start with those pilots, because right now they're not actually in the aircraft at all. Airspeeder currently only have certification for a remote pilot license, and their current generation of aircraft isn't even designed to be crewed, which means the person controlling the aircraft in this video is actually on the ground. Right now, that makes this very similar to something called FPV drone racing, which is already hugely successful and is estimated to rake in hundreds of millions of dollars each year. Even if Airspeeder's newly signed racers could step aboard their aircraft, they'll need training first, as most of them come from motor racing or FPV drone racing backgrounds and aren't actually aircraft pilots. And then there's the circuit. As Airspeeder aren't building a physical race course, they're going to have to figure out how to beam a precision virtual course in perfect real time to both the audience and the pilots. When I spoke to Airspeeder's CEO, he told me that the company is working with the Australian Aviation Authority on certification, working with its partners on a virtual race course, and that a lead pilot is training their new pilots for future flights. Even if Airspeeder overcomes these obstacles, it still needs to attract an audience to make this a profitable venture. So, to turn anti-gravity racing from science fiction into a bona fide reality, Airspeeder is going to need additional certification, trained pilots, a new aircraft that can be piloted, and a way of beaming all of that course information to pilots and the audience. If all that happens, then Airspeeder could have some of the key ingredients for an interesting new racing series. What's yet to be seen is how many people will tune in and watch. <laughs>